Of well paying jobs now coming to the Bay Area through Walmart. Just getting the green light now to build a distribution warehouse in Polk County. The plans could create up to 600 new jobs for the area. And as ABC Action News reporter Jacqueline and Glace explains, just hours ago, county commissioners made the deal to develop even sweeter. I'm here off of U.S. Highway 27 in Davenport, and right here behind me is where this distribution center is going to be built. It's going to be adjacent to that building you see right there. That is the FedEx distribution center. It's sort of hectic right now. This is the sixth time in two weeks Susan Jones is walking into this Lakeland unemployment office looking for work. When you got kids, it is, it is sort of personal. The mother of three isn't alone. Recently released labor statistics showing Polk County's unemployment rate is up. There has been some improvement year to year. Last year at this time, the unemployment rate hovered at 6.9%. So overall unemployment is down, with the county adding 6,600 new jobs over the past 12 months. Still, when comparing counties, Polk County has one of the highest unemployment rates in the Bay Area. Numbers Jones didn't know before moving here from South Carolina. Lots of people out of jobs, and they actually been here before I have. Relief is coming right here to Davenport. Walmart announced it's opening a distribution facility here off U.S. Highway 27 and Waverly Barn Road. The company is spending $200 million to build the mega facility, which includes two buildings, each the size of 17 football fields and bringing up to 600 jobs to the area, paying $42,000 a year. And we're going to put uh, our citizens back to work. I was in favor of the saying hi. Just hours ago, county commissioners voting to exempt Walmart from property taxes for 10 years. Money the county is willing to forego because the new facility is expected to pump close to $70 million into the local economy annually. It was a win-win today. Jones thinks she may be well-suited for the jobs. She'll be applying, but it'll take a while to see if her efforts pay off. Construction has not even begun. Actually, I had lots of experience in, like, forklift warehouse. Now, you'll start seeing construction crews out here later this year, and they plan on opening up this distribution center by late 2016. In Davenport, Jacqueline Inglace, ABC Action News. Jacqueline, thank you.